Another example of uh, where we might apply Bernoulli's principle, particularly uh, this statement, as the speed of flow increases, the pressure decreases. We can uh, demonstrate that uh, with this funnel. What I'm going to do is connect the air hose up to uh, the bottom of this funnel, or the, uh, which will become the top of the funnel here. And I'm going to blow air down through the funnel. And then I'm going to stick a little ping pong ball in it at this position. And what's going to happen is as the air uh, squeezes between the glass and the ping pong ball, it's going to squeeze through there at a high velocity. That'll reduce the pressure on the upper part of the ping pong ball, allowing the atmospheric pressure where my finger is now to hold the ping pong ball up inside that funnel. So we're going to see as soon as I turn the air on, that it'll be the atmospheric pressure uh, that'll dominate as we reduce the pressure on the top and sides of that ball by increasing the speed of airflow over the top part of the ball. And uh, still another demonstration would be if I uh, blow air through this hose and set the ping pong ball in that airstream, but uh, have the air flow on a slight angle so it blows over the top part of the ball, reducing the pressure there, high speed, low pressure, and again the atmospheric pressure will tend to push it back up into the stream, and then the stream will support the ball, and we'll be able to balance that ball on that stream of air if we do it carefully. Let's try it and see. So the air is flowing mostly over the top side of the ball. High speed, low pressure, and the atmospheric pressure pushes it back into the column of air. You can also do this with a water hose, by the way, if you're careful, with a ping pong ball, and show uh, another application of uh, Bernoulli's principle. 